Imagine standing under a star-filled sky, gazing up at a faint streak of light moving faster than anything you've ever seen. On July 1, 2025, astronomers caught sight of just such a marvel, a cosmic visitor racing toward our sun at 58 kilometers per second. They named it 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object to grace our solar system. But this isn't just another comet. Its size, its chemistry, its improbable path, it's unlike anything we've encountered before. Some, like renowned physicist Michio Kaku, are calling it a cosmic wild card, a possible messenger from a realm beyond our understanding. So, what is 3i Atlas? Is it a relic of the ancient universe, or could it be something more? a sign of intelligence far older and grander than our own. Buckle up, because we're diving deep into the mystery of this interstellar giant, exploring its secrets, its science, and what it might mean for humanity's place in the cosmos. Hit that like button, subscribe, and let's embark on this journey together. The story of 3i Atlas begins in the early hours of July 1st, 2025, at the Atlas Survey Station in Chile. Astronomers were scanning the crowded star fields near the galactic center when a faint streak caught their attention. At first, it seemed like a glitch, a flicker in the data, but within minutes, automated systems flagged its motion. 58 kilometers per second, screaming inbound. That's nearly twice the speed of most asteroids in this region. Larry Dino, one of the lead astronomers, pored over the images and realized this wasn't a typical rock. Its trajectory didn't loop back toward the sun like a comet bound to our solar system. Instead, it traced a path outward, with an eccentricity over six, far beyond the limit for anything gravitationally tied to our sun. This was no local wanderer. It was an interstellar traveler, born in the depths of the Milky Way, possibly older than our solar system itself. Observatories worldwide, from Hawaii to South Africa to Spain, swung their telescopes toward the object. By dawn, the Minor Planet Center had issued its official designation, 3i Atlas. Only the third interstellar object ever confirmed, it joined the ranks of Oumuamua and 2i Borisov, but with a presence that dwarfed them both. What makes 3i Atlas so extraordinary? Let's start with its sheer scale. The coma, the glowing cloud of gas and dust surrounding its core, stretches an astonishing 700,000 kilometers across. To put that in perspective, that's nearly twice the distance from Earth to the Moon. If you could place this coma next to the Sun, it would span more than half the solar diameter. Most comets never come close to this size. But here's the twist. The nucleus, the solid heart of 3i Atlas, is surprisingly small. Estimated at just 0.3 to 5.6 kilometers across, about the size of a small city. It's like a single mountain cloaked in a haze that could swallow entire planets. This contrast is almost otherworldly, a tiny, ancient core trailing a veil of gas and dust that outshines most objects in our solar system. Early photometric readings from Chile and Hawaii showed a brightness far stronger than expected for an object this far out, hinting at an active, dense coma. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its infrared eyes on 3i Atlas, it revealed a startling truth. This coma is unusually rich in carbon dioxide, a gas that's typically a minor player in comets. This isn't just a big comet, it's a cosmic enigma. The chemistry of 3i Atlas is where things get truly bizarre. Most comets in our solar system are water-rich, with carbon dioxide playing a supporting role. But 3i Atlas flips the script. Data from the James Webb Space Telescope revealed a carbon dioxide to water ratio of 8 to 1, six standard deviations above the norm for comets. To break that down, it's venting about 129 kilograms of carbon dioxide per second compared to just 16 kilograms of water. Only one other comet, C-2016R2, comes remotely close to this ratio, and even that's an outlier. This chemical fingerprint suggests 3i Atlas formed in an environment where carbon dioxide ice dominated, or where billions of years of cosmic radiation stripped away water, leaving carbon dioxide as the star of the show. The web team also detected carbon monoxide and traces of carbonyl sulfide, but the carbon dioxide signal overwhelmed everything else. This isn't the profile of a comet born in our solar system. 
It's a relic from a place where the rules of chemistry were different, perhaps a distant star system or a region of the galaxy far older than our own. But the chemical surprises don't stop there. When the Very Large Telescope, VLT, in Chile trained its UVES spectrograph on 3i Atlas, it picked up 22 distinct emission lines of neutral nickel vapor, a metal rarely seen in such abundance in comets. Even stranger, there was no trace of iron which typically appears alongside nickel in solar system comets like a cosmic twin. Saw in our comets, the nickel to iron ratio is stable, about 15 times higher than the cosmic average, but both metals are always present. With 3i slash Atlas, the ratio is effectively infinite, no iron at all. The VLT team pinpointed the likely culprit, nickel tetracarbonyl, a volatile compound that forms in carbon-rich, oxygen-poor environments and breaks apart in sunlight, releasing nickel atoms that glow in the ultraviolet. This suggests 3i slash Atlas formed in a cold, carbon-heavy disk, where nickel bonded with carbon monoxide before being locked in ice. This isn't just a quirk. It's a chemical signature that points to an alien origin, a birthplace unlike anything in our solar system. The trajectory of 3i slash Atlas is equally confounding. Most interstellar objects slice through our solar system at random angles, cutting steep paths through the planetary plane. But 3i slash Atlas is different. Its orbit is nearly flat with the ecliptic, the thin disk where our planets orbit, clocking in at a 175 degree retrograde inclination, just 5 degrees off the plane. For an object from interstellar space, this is like threading a needle from light years away. The odds of such a precise alignment are about 0.2%, lower than flipping heads 8 times in a row. This path brings 3i slash Atlas perilously close to three major planets. Venus at 0.65 astronomical units, Mars at just 0.19 astronomical units, closer than many asteroids, and Jupiter at 0.36 astronomical units. These flybys aren't random, they form a sequence that maximizes gravitational interactions as if 3i slash Atlas is conducting a cosmic survey of our solar system. The cumulative probability of these close encounters happening by chance is less than 0.005%. It's the kind of coincidence that makes astronomers double-check their calculations. Let's pause for a moment to consider the historical context. In 2017, the discovery of Oumuamua rocked the astronomical world. That slender, tumbling object sped through our solar system with an unexplained acceleration, showing no visible outgassing or comet-like tail. Harvard's Avi Loeb proposed a provocative idea. What if Oumuamua wasn't just a rock, but a probe or debris from an advanced civilization? The scientific community pushed back, but the questions lingered. Now, 3i slash Atlas arrives with its own set of anomalies, a trajectory too precise, a chemistry too strange, and a scale too vast. Michio Kaku's warning about 3i slash Atlas as a cosmic wildcard echoes Loeb's hypothesis. If Oumuamua was a hint, 3i slash Atlas feels like a shout. Its path, chemistry, and behavior don't just challenge our models, they force us to ask whether we're looking at a natural object or something engineered by a civilization operating on a scale we can barely fathom. To understand the stakes, let's turn to the Kardashev scale, a framework proposed by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in the 1960s. It classifies civilizations by their energy use. Type 1 harnesses a planet's resources, Type 2 captures a star's full output, and Type 3 taps an entire galaxy. Humanity, at roughly 0.7 on this scale, is still burning fossil fuels and dabbling in solar power. But a Type 2 or 3 civilization could build structures as large as stars, launch probes across the galaxy, or even manipulate cometary chemistry. If 3i slash Atlas is as old as models suggest, 7 to 11 billion years, it predates our sun. A civilization that ancient could have mastered energies that make our technology look like a child's toy. Kaku's point isn't that 3i slash Atlas is a spaceship, it's that we shouldn't rule out the possibility of it being a relic or tool of such a civilization. The carbon dioxide dominance, the nickel anomaly, the improbable trajectory, these could be signatures of processes we don't yet understand, natural or otherwise. 
let's address a common misconception, the idea that comets are just dirty snowballs with predictable behaviors. While many comets fit this model, interstellar visitors like 3i slash Atlas defy it. Their chemistry, origins, and trajectories often break the rules we've built from studying solar system comets. Some skeptics argue that 3i slash Atlas's oddities are just statistical flukes, but the data tells a different story. The carbon dioxide to water ratio, the absence of iron, the near-perfect ecliptic alignment, these aren't isolated quirks. They form a pattern that demands new thinking. As Kaku puts it, we're dealing with an object that may have been shaped by forces or intelligences operating on a galactic scale. Dismissing it as just a comet ignores the evidence piling up in observatories worldwide. The human element of this discovery adds another layer of fascination. Picture the Atlas survey team in Chile, bleary-eyed at 4.13 a.m., realizing they've stumbled onto something historic. Or the VLT observers in the Atacama Desert, meticulously calibrating their spectrographs to catch those nickel emission lines. Let's zoom out and consider the bigger picture. The discovery of 3i slash Atlas following Oumuamua and 2i slash Borisov suggests our solar system is a crossroads for interstellar travelers. Each visitor brings new questions about our place in the galaxy. If objects like 3i slash Atlas are common, we may need to rethink how often stars eject material, or probes, into the void. If they're rare, then each one is a precious clue to the universe's history. Either way, these objects challenge the idea that Earth is an isolated oasis. The solar system is open, exposed, a waypoint in a galaxy teeming with possibilities. For scientists, 3i slash Atlas is a call to action to build better telescopes, to refine our models, to imagine beyond the boundaries of what we think is possible. The cultural impact of comets resonates through history. Ancient Chinese records from 240 BC describe broom stars as harbingers of change. In medieval Europe, comets were seen as divine messages signaling the rise or fall of kings. The word comet comes from the Greek for long-haired, a nod to their glowing tails. Even today, we speak of comets as messengers from the deep, carrying stories from beyond our reach. 3i slash Atlas continues this tradition, but with a modern twist. Its data, carbon dioxide ratios, nickel lines, orbital paths, replaces prophecy with precision. Yet the questions it raises are as old as humanity. Are we alone? What lies beyond the stars? As we study 3i slash Atlas, we're not just collecting numbers, we're continuing a millennia-long conversation with the cosmos. So where does this leave us? 3i slash Atlas is a cosmic puzzle, a visitor that defies our expectations and challenges our understanding. Its 700,000 kilometer coma its 8 to 1 carbon dioxide to water ratio, its nickel-heavy chemistry, and its improbably precise trajectory all point to an object unlike any other. Whether it's a natural relic or something more, it's forcing us to confront the limits of our knowledge. Michio Kaku's warning reminds us to stay open to possibilities, to consider that the universe might hold intelligences or phenomena we can't yet comprehend. As 3i slash Atlas races through our solar system, it's not just a scientific discovery. It's a moment of wonder, a chance to dream bigger about our place in the galaxy. Keep watching the skies and let's keep this conversation going. Like, subscribe, and drop your thoughts below. What do you think 3i slash Atlas is trying to tell us?